everybody. Welcome. Um, I'm glad we have such a great turnout here. Um, welcome to this community engagement about the San Francisco Reparations Plan. Um, we want to thank, uh, my name is Joelle Stewart. I'm from the Human Rights Commission. And uh, we want to uh, start off this space by thanking everybody who made this possible. Thank you to the I IT Bookman uh, Center, uh, Felicia Thibodeau. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Raynar from, um, from Thank you, Raynard Moore um, from Invest Black. And um, thank you to Daily Events Patrick from The Good Rule. Um, so how many of you have heard or read the uh, San Francisco Reparations Plan? Just a show of hands. Some of it. That's a 400 pages. It's a very long document, I know. Yeah, it's very long. Um, so that's why we're having these engagements. That's why we're doing these things in community to um, help everybody, you know, get a sense of what we're, uh, what, what the plan is and what the recommendations are because it is so long. Um, but you know, this is we're breaking it down uh, piece by piece today. And so the reason that we're here today is to, um, you know, help everybody familiarize themselves with the recommendations. And we want to really hear what the community wants. Um, and we will go through an exercise where you all prioritize what you want to see in the recommendations. And um, we'll also be doing interviews. We want to hear you share your voice um, and talk about what, um, what it means to you to have um, reparations. And so um, if you go in the computer lab across the hall here, Diane will do, um, <laughs> Diane, can you raise your hand? Denise. Denise, I'm sorry, Denise, um, will, from both sides of the conversation, will be um, doing interviews and giving you a prompt and asking what you think about reparations. And so, um, as we get started, I want to introduce our committee members who are here today. Um, we have Vice President Denise Hollins. Um, one, reparations would mean to me that not my great-great-grandparents, um, 16 generations, that they did in this country, the work that they did in this country will be in a benefit to our generations and for the future. Um, my great grandmother had a eighth grade graduation, eighth grade graduation, a eighth, my grandmother had an eighth grade education and had five children and was not able to complete college or do any of that. Um, and not only that, her, her, grand, her grandfather was a um, was a cotton man. and so we all know the, the history of the cotton mills. Um, my second reason why um, reparations is important to me is I've been doing my family tree recently, and with the consistency alone that they've been able to provide us, um, they show um, our people's um, employment and how much money they made weekly, and most of them didn't even make a hundred dollars a week for eighty hours of work. And that's documented on you know, multiple papers, um, and it's time for it to be acknowledged. Um, my third reason why reparations and why it's important to us is because our story needs to be told. Our story needs to be told for our children to know what, what, who they are and who they are meant to be. Living in abundance is our birthright. They need to know that as, as they grow up in school, as they go to school, as they go home, as they watch TV, they should know, they need to know that. And the only way, the only way for that to happen is if we acknowledge what has happened in the past, as we have done for many other cultures, and it's time for fundamental black Americans to get the acknowledgement that they work for and deserve, and have been working for for a really long time. Again, that's a lot of question on what reparations mean to me. However, um, having a, a consistent start, a consistent, resourceful environment and institutions to fund our future is what we need, and that's what it means to us, to me. It's good. It's good. So, uh, well, I have one other question, if you could just stay in the same spot. Uh, and that is basically, uh, do you have any, um, based on what the uh, commission's come with, out with uh, thus far, um, happy with it, sad with it? Is it in the right direction? Is it in the wrong direction? What, 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 is, your, what is your take on it? Um, 
this is a perfect direction because full, full sentence. What's the question again? Based on the uh, what the current proposal is, are you happy with it? Do you think it, it is the right direction, the wrong direction, okay. good, bad, neutral? Based on the recommendations that have been talked about today, I am happy with it because today and tomorrow there will be continuous conversations of things that we need to acknowledge and how we're going to move forward in the plans and the infrastructure that we're going to use and how we're going to use it to build it. Uh, it is, I'm happy with it. Um, the first start to correcting a problem is acknowledging it. Um, and that's today we are, today in, in all these conversations with reparations, it's just acknowledging it. Um, that something was just done to fundamentally black Americans and um, it's time to acknowledge that they need to get the reparation that they deserve. Just as, you know, all other cultures as well. Um, this is a this is a coin, two sides of the conversation. It's not this and, it's not this or that, it's this and that. Um, and it's time. All right. Very good. Thank you very much.